The market may be saturated with flight bags, but boy, were we determined to find the best. I'm Larry Anglosano at Aviation Consumer Magazine. You know, if you're like me, you may not need to bring along a full-size flight bag every time you go flying, and that's what makes a compact flight tote like this Sporty's iPad bag worth the investment. Now, in the January 2017 issue of Aviation Consumer, we rounded up almost a dozen of these bags to see how they compare, and three of them were easy favorites. So over the past year, I've been using those three bags to see how they hold up, all of them did. So let's go back inside to the test bench and I'll show them to you. First, the Sporty's HP iPad bag, which is part of the redesigned lighter weight flight gear bag series. It's the right size for stowing in the cabin at 12 inches wide and 13 inches high. And the tote also works well as an electronics bag, so much so that it became permanent storage for our collection of action cams and accessories. And we travel with several of them. You know, the real bonus though is the 11 by 9 by 5 inch main compartment that has a headset hanger. That worked out well for storing a Bose A20 and you could probably squeeze two in if you tried. There's also plenty of padding plus a few mesh pockets for organizing cables and small accessories and batteries. The outside of the bag has a transceiver pocket, a phone pocket, a flashlight pocket, and also a welcome bottle holder. Of course, since the HP Tote is called an iPad bag, it has a dedicated tablet compartment with a charging cable pass-through from the main pocket. The bag has well-made zippers and a rugged carry handle. Now, we also tried Sporty's custom embroidery option, and the stitching held up well. Now, Sporty's also has an optional accessory pocket called Gear Mods, which are modular storage compartments that can be moved from one flight gear bag to the other. Priced at $69.95, we think the HP iPad bag is a solid value. Next up is the My Go Flight PLC series, and there are three to choose from. Now, if you prefer a backpack style bag, the PLC series will likely work for you, and there it's a matter of selecting a size. What you see here on the bench is the PLC light, and it's 14 inches high, 11 inches wide, 6 inches deep. Now, it easily accommodates a headset and has two major compartments that work well for organizing small electronics, including our action cams. And there's more storage for thin stuff on the rear of the bag. The main compartment has a padded protective pouch for storing a tablet computer. Now, I like the see-through mesh pockets. They make it easy to find stuff that I can never seem to find in more traditional bags like keys, sunglasses, and snacks. The PLC Lite doesn't have an external storage pouch for a transceiver, but the PLC Sport does, and it's also slightly wider by about an inch. Now, that also has four pockets on the side where the light does not, but the PLC light can easily fit a radio along with a headset in the main compartment. Missing, though, is a dedicated holder for a water bottle. Now, if you need something larger than the light and sport models, there's the PLC Pro. I've owned one for a couple years, and, you know, it's been my go-to for longer trips because I might pack a change of clothes and toiletries in it. It has three main pockets and can accommodate a full-size MacBook Pro laptop or two headsets. Plus, it has four side pockets. Now, the build quality of the PLC series is impressive, and they're all made with durable, water-resistant sailcloth, heavy-duty zippers, and a rugged handle that's reinforced with internal metal cable. Now, all bags come with a shoulder strap, a three-year warranty, and are available with My Go Flight's customized embroidery. The PLC Lite is $99, the Sport model is $149, and the Big Pro is $199. Finally, the Thrust Bag from Flight Outfitters, which sells for $79.95, and this is a sling pack design. The thrust turned out to be more accommodating than it appears on the outside. It measures 22 inches high, 11 inches wide, and about 6.5 inches deep. Now, the bag has a carry handle and also includes a single padded shoulder strap that can be adjusted for wearing on either shoulder. One side pouch can hold a water bottle or a comp transceiver, and the other can hold a fuel tester or maybe a small flashlight. Now, the, ma the bag's main storage capacity is in four internal pockets. Now, these are lined with MA1-inspired bright orange fleece, and the largest pocket measures 17 inches high, 10 inches wide, and about an inch and a half deep. Now, that's plenty of room for a mid-size laptop computer and full-size tablet. Now, the second largest pocket is 12 and a half inches high and 10 and a half inches deep. That's big enough to house a couple headsets, or maybe one headset and a bunch of camera gear. And then another 11 inch pocket is large enough to hold even more electronics. A small zippered pouch at the top of the midsection of the bag works well for holding keys, pens, and maybe some snacks. 
Now the thrust also has four internal mesh organizers for housing cables, charging cords, and even spare batteries, although the bag does have a AA battery holder in one of its compartments. Now while it does have custom molded padded back, the thrust may be better if you can wear it like a traditional backpack, but you can't. This thing's really designed as a sling bag, which some may prefer. Flight Outfitters gets high marks for the bag styling. Special thanks to Sporties, My Go Flight, particularly to Flight Outfitters for sending samples. You know, Flight Outfitters, these guys are always sending samples out in the field looking for feedback on new products. And a bag they recently sent me was this Bush Pilot bag. And uh, before we go, it's worth a closer look at it. The $140 Bush Pilot Folio bag measures 18 inches high, 11 inches wide, and 6 inches deep, and it has two leather strapped organizer pockets. It also has a rear strap for attaching to a roller board. Now what's cool about the Folio bag is you could take it into a business meeting and not feel like Joe Pilot, and that's good if you use your airplane for work travel. Now the bag also makes for a capable logbook storage bag, or maybe for storing the aircraft flight manual supplement or avionics manuals. Now, the Bush Pilot Folio bag may not be the best option for carrying electronics, but it can accommodate a couple of headsets and maybe a portable transceiver that you can stuff into one of the side pockets. Now, like the rest of Flight Outfitters products, the Bush Pilot Folio bag is made well, has good looks. Now, you can read a summary on our long-term evaluation of compact flight totes in the April 2018 issue of Aviation Consumer magazine. Reporting for Aviation Consumer, I'm Larry Anglosano. Thanks for watching.